Hello and welcome to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. My name is Teutonic Trickery and I welcome you to the wasteland that is New England. For those of you unfamiliar with Cataclysm, Cataclysm is a survival game. A survival game with the graphics of Dwarf Fortress, but also with with its amazing complexity, its love for details and, of course, the massive amount of content only made possible by the simple graphics. This game is free and openly available on the internet. I will provide a link to the download in the description. What I show now is one of the later experimental builds but probably not the most recent one once this video goes online. In Cataclysm you play a survivor. A survivor of the apocalypse. You try to survive in the wasteland like probably any other survivor would try. On your way to this barren land that was left behind by the downfall of mankind, you will be constantly plagued by zombies, nuclear fallout, crazy police robots, alien demon things and stuff like that. Well, you have of course, well, an incentive to take care of your own human needs. So... Oh yes, and please note that this let's play is not a tutorial, because I honestly believe that the best way to learn this game is to simply download it, look up the controls on the wiki and start your own characters and become better and better at the game with each character that dies or over with that in the barren wastelands. Well, not really barren now that I think about it, actually quite lively with a lot of trees and plants, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. But if you really want a tutorial series, just leave a comment below and if the demand is high enough, I will probably do one. Oh, and if you have a question that doesn't warrant its own video or something, just ask me in the comments down below. And I will do my best to help you out with all my accumulated knowledge of the game. But enough introduction, let's actually begin with the game. And we probably want to begin... Well, I probably want to begin with deleting my old world, but you probably want to begin with creating a new one. I will choose... I will quickly go over what mods I choose, but I will not explain them in detail since that's not really important for the game experience. I will choose icons, weapon packs, I will choose medieval and historic content, more survival tools, mythological replicas, crazy cataclysm, uh, more locations, boats, folding parts, tanks and other vehicles, vehicle additions pack and arcana magic items. Furthermore I will activate tough zombies and slow zombies, because well that's how zombies are supposed to be, slow and pretty hard to kill. And I will activate this, stats to skills. This will allow me to increase my stats, my character's stats, to his skills. Like for example, training melee and making him stronger to that. My world gen options. I did not choose or I did not change a lot here, but I changed some things. For example, I increased the factor that determine 
determines the size of the cities and I doubled it from 4 to 8. I increased the spacing between cities and in fact now that I look at it I will probably increase it one more time so we will have to travel a little bit longer between settlements. Spawn weight scaling factor I cranked up by 50% so basically I want more monsters to spawn but I don't want the world to be overwhelmed by massive amounts of at some point boring monsters. Mm, everything else should be at default. Note that I play without NPCs mainly because in their current form they are buggy and to be honest not really worth the effort of getting along with their annoying behavior. Well I guess everything we need here is a kick as world name. Hmm. Brookside will be good enough I guess. For the type of character I will play. I already decided on the type of character I want. And I roughly decided where I want to go with him, but of course it will depend on the world we land in. I will choose to work with a single pool for my pawns, so I can shift them around. For the scenario we will choose, it will be school. So we will start in school basically. You were at school when the principal shambled in and ate one of the students. And before you knew it, the entire campus was overrun by monsters. Guess school is over forever. Yes, school is probably over forever. I hope so would be pretty creepy like a complete school full of zombies, learning, living dead undead lives. We will choose for a profession poor student, mainly because it will fit our character we will build. You come from a low income family and got mocked for your old hand me down clothes and for getting free school lunches in the cafeteria. Even worse, your ratty old backpack finally fell apart at the worst time. At least no one is mocking you now. Well, I guess at least no one is mocking us now. For the traits I will choose, I will choose somewhat interesting traits, but I will not make the character just based on the traits, since I personally personally believe the character should more be built around the experience in the wasteland and not about this stuff. Well, actually, at least not around the negative stuff. We will have poor hearing mainly because of all the heavy metal we heard when we were young and probably hurt our ears. We will also be squeamish now that everyone is dead and we are basically the owner of the world, yes, all claimed by us. We don't have to wear hand-me-down clothes, we can wear pretty much everything we find. And because of that, we don't want to wear filthy clothes. Disgusting. We will also be a lightweight. Because we are still a student, we probably didn't have a chance to really go get a lot of muscle or something. We will also have high thirst, so we will have to drink a lot of water. We will choose heavy sleeper. Well, this is mainly because I hate to be wait to be woken up in the middle of the night by by some random animal knocking at my door. We would also choose glass jaw. This basically means we can't really take a lot of hits to our head. But that's fine. We, find, we will find something to negate that, like a military helmet or something. And I will choose bad temper. Bad temper. Things just keep getting you down. You tend to be unhappy and it takes some doing to cheer you up. 
somewhat fitting. I mean, everyone is dead, <laughs> no one is around. Actually, maybe we should take optimistic? No? Okay. I will choose quick, mainly because it is probably the most awesome trait you can get. It will allow you to make everything 10% faster, not reading or stuff, but like actions. I will also choose Parkour Expert, because, well, let's phrase it like that. Our character wasn't very popular at school, so he had to run away a lot, and this certainly helps. Um, we will also choose Night Vision. Imagine that you're poor, you need to conserve some money. And you will do that by, well, saving on energy, like turning off the lights early. Well, but I guess you will have to learn how to orientate in the dark. Yes, we will also take this. Like I said, we ran away a lot, so we probably get used to physical exercise. And we will take this, and this will probably be the most important part of this character build. Melee weapon training. This will allow us to choose medieval swordmanship. Medieval swordmanship this character picked up somewhere along his way. Maybe he teaches himself by book or something. Or some nice Samarita just talked. Uh, teach them how to do it. Our stats will be something pretty mediocre, tense everywhere, but a little bit stronger than usual. Skills I will not take at the beginning, simply because I want my character to learn all this in-game, in the wasteland, and not already know how to do stuff. For the name, I will choose Jeffrey Heller. No specific reason, but I like the name for this character. Or starting location will be school, and I will quickly save this for later reference. Later reference like I die miserably, and I want to know what character I created. So I guess we can go on here. Well, actually, this we probably want to do. <laughs> this is kind of the point of all of this. Medieval swordsmanship. The art of the longsword and other weapons, preceding the later development of fencing. Designed for combat, both unarmored and in armor. It includes grappling as well as defensive and offensive sword techniques plus familiarity with other weapons like polearms. Yes, please. And here we are. Sorry for the short break. I just wanted to check if the audio is fine and if the recording is okay. It's my first time really doing this, so please don't mind. So, I guess we will begin with looking at our situation. We are, in a, we are in a school, relatively close to a city, but we don't actually know a lot about the city. Other than there is a garage, like... Relatively far away. And two grocery stores where we actually might get a shopping, uh, shopping car or something along those lines. Sporting goods stores where we might find the occasional interesting thing. And home improvement store. Well, this will probably be not quite as useful as the rest, but I guess we will check it. 
mainly because I'm not 100% sure if these can actually have hardware like sledgehammers for example but no is this a military base up there oh a military outpost we probably want to stay away from that there are probably turrets or something up there we probably, for our first action, want to check this evacuation shelter. If there is, for example, a gas mast inside there, this will already be worth it. And what's that? Is it? Yes, it is a FEMA can. We probably want to stay as far away from that as we can until we are somewhat more prepared. Because while there can be some good stuff in there, there are also a lot of zombies. So, step one, escape from a school. Step two, evac shelter. Step three, killing time until it's dark. So we can actually go and loot the city. So, that said... We probably want to grab some things before we leave. We spotted a zombie child. Where did we spot it? Oh, in the yard. Or next to the flagpole, whatever. Zombie child. Hostile. It is uninjured. Uninjured. It was only a child, and little is different about it now, aside from the hungry look in its eyes. You had be hard pressed to not feel like you were killing an actual child by putting it down. Well, I guess it will be over once it bites a ch chunk out of your leg. There are our next zombies. Zombie, a human body swaying as it moves. An unstoppable rage is visible in its oily black eyes. That's oddly specific. We probably don't want to be around that. No, we don't have artillery, sadly, so we won't need that. This might not have been as clever as I thought. What is that? We probably want water pu uh, purifier. A funnel, not that much now, but... Well, actually, we w probably want to run away as fast as we can right now. Because there are zombies here. Something on the teacher. Desk. A desk. Oh, yes. <laughs> what teacher doesn't have a like, shit ton of snacks right next to us? Uh, work. His work of the US Weekly, US Weekly and Computer Science. That actually sounds like a computer science teacher I had in class, now that I think about it. Oh, offers back. This is useful. Yes, please. We just like what? We like quadrupled, no actually more than that we multiplied our carrying capacity by like 5, 6 or something like that a hockey stick that might be a somewhat useful melee weapon for us a curved, a curved wooden stick with a wide and flat end commonly used by hockey players I will equip it for the time being until we find something more useful. A hockey man. Yes, we will look like a psychopath, but wait, we have a glass chin. It is warranted. Sometimes you have to look like a psychopath. Maybe one of the zombies can, one of the zombies gets scared and we don't have to end its miserable life. We will probably just check the lockers and maybe the teacher tests. Now that I think about it, maybe the students have like 
more interesting stuff. This for example is interesting under the hood. So we can raise our mechanic, uh, mechanic skill to 1, which is relatively useful because some things you can raise your mechanic skill with from 0 to 1, but not a lot. So it's really useful to skip that with a book. Who did one rampage in this room? I hate all the stools, all the chairs, stools. <laughs> um, by the way, auto pickup is activated. And I told it to, wait, I can quickly show you, to automatically pick up bolts and arrows, mainly because I played one or two ranged characters before this and to auto pick up nails because they are very useful for construction and crafting and they take like next to no space and you don't well you find them everywhere but it is quite annoying to oh fuck to break down few uh are we safe here no i don't believe so to break down stuff to get through them so I like to pick them up whenever I can. Leave me alone, you little fuck. Oh fuck. Waller skates. Do we want to use waller skates? An old fashioned pair of leather waller skates with steel frames. While quite fast on fat <laughs> on fat floors <laughs> on flat floors, they make it difficult to move through rough terrain. Let's check. We can follow the road. Hmm. I believe we want to actually wear them for now. I can't wear another pair of footwear. So, goodbye shoes. I probably want to take you, well, with me actually. And loot this. I will basically take all the food stuff that doesn't has doesn't have any volume, at least not in the game, because that is what well, that is what is limiting us right now. Actually, not the amount we can carry white wise, but the amount of carrying. Capacity provided by your clothes. Clothing. Whatever. Yep. We will. Oh, we have no stamina. Because I'm dumb and ran inside the school. Well, we will now take our escape. And as you can see on the minimap, and probably if I zoom out one time and look down there, <laughs> we have new friends. Actually, we have an actual friend. What is this? Zombie child corpses. Apparently this giant rattlesnake doesn't have the world, doesn't have the same moral problems with killing children that we have. A mutated ti timber rattlesnake, about three times as large as a norm. While it isn't big enough to re to regard humans as potential prey. It is more aggressive and dangerous compared to its normal rattler. To a normal rattler, sorry. It actually won bug wild on this. Oh, uh, motorcycle, please be okay. No, it is not. Fuck. It would really be nice to find a vehicle just standing around. It really won, like, rough shot over once the zombies. It has a backpack, but it's. Dirty and filthy. And it is uninjured. Did really the rattlesnake kill all these zombies? Or is there like a bear down there? I don't want to know. <laughs> I definitely don't want to aggravate this rattlesnake, it seems. Too OP for me. What is it up there? Oh, strawberry. No, these won't be 
like ready to harvest now. And we have like plants. How do we loot them? We already passed, well I guess we could run to the military outpost, but no. I will probably wait some time and let them come closer until my stamina regenerates and I will zoom in again until my stamina yes perfect and now I will well I could try to take them out one by one but children give you this annoying mood debuff and they are hard to hit because they are so small so we will probably just now with a new stamina run away because that is what we are good at. Wow, we actually left them behind in our dust. That's amazing. Evac shelter, okay. Let's look at that. Are they still following us? That would be really annoying. Yes, they are still following us. Um, let's make this fast. Gas mask? No. Stuff in the basement? No. Goodbye evacuation shelter. Ooh. Ow. Oh. oh, this is sad, but this is really good for us. Apparently there was a troop of military personnel which... Oh. <laughs> which apparently has still a member left. Zombie soldier. Once a soldier, it is dressed head to toe in combat gear and carries and carries itself rather stealthy for, and carries itself. Do you say that like that? And carries itself rather st steadily. I read stealthy, uh, steadily for a zombie. So there's still one military personnel left here, or soldier, I guess. And a Graten. Don't ask me what this is or what this is a reference for, I don't know. A bizarre humanoid create, uh, creature. With a calculating stare, its twitching hands move so fast they appear to be nothing more but blurs. I don't want to fight that. Do you want to fight that? I don't want to fight that. I want to loot this. Never miss fires. What? Oh, is this ammunition for some M M80? No, we don't use firearms around here. This, however, is quite useful. This is a shovel. An entrenching tool. This is a stout collapsible spade. It's commonly used by military forces and favored by hikers for digging. This will come in very handy. And we probably want to steal his pants also. Because military pants have a lot of storage. We probably want to keep an eye on this confrontation down there. And as soon as one of them is dead, one for all eyes. Well, actually, now that I think about it, if only the. Soldier survives? I will probably go and kill him. If those... Yeah, they're staying reasonably far away, so yes. If the soldier... If the soldier survives? Hopefully injured? By the Kraken? Whatever. I will probably kill it for its gear. Even though most of it we will not be able to wear right now. What is that? A mild opiate used in the suppression of pain, cough and other ailments. While relatively weak for a narcotic, it is still addictive, with the potential for overdose. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Drugs are okay. I don't intend to use them, but maybe we will have to. Uh, well, a complete meal, military ration and... A helmet liner like what you wear on your motorcycle helmet. 
will actually protect and probably warm our head a little bit. Why do I even put it on? I should have known I find something in slightly better condition and relatively fast. The decisions. Will we take the pants with better um, quality, like fitting pants, or those with more health? Probably will take this for now and decide later. What is you? Plastic bottle of... Yes, this will be useful and this will give, give us even more storage. I will take that. And I will probably take this as well, but I first have to put on these and throw out these in favor of combat boots. It sounds kick ass, and yes, I ignored your slime. You're normally pretty harmless. Amobic? Or amobic? Hmm, mold. A formless slime mold. A formless slime mold the size of a cow. Crusty bits of. <laughs> cytoplasm? Cytoplasm? Fall away as it oozes across the ground. I'm sorry that I'm not able to pronounce everything, but especially like technical terms like that, I'm not familiar with it. Not familiar with. Whatever. Oh, did actually. Yes, the correct one survives. Congratulations! You will now get your kicked, uh, your face kicked, and you're kicked faced in by me, who can just outsmart you by taking a step back, waiting for you going forward, and then hitting you in the head with his stick. Bang! actually is faster than other zombies. Normal, normally you can just take a step back. No, you have to take two steps back. Very hard. So, as you probably can see, single zombies aren't really a problem. Not at all. They only really get a problem uh, get, they don't get a problem, I get a problem if there's a lot of them. And this is probably how it is supposed to be. I mean, imagine it. A single zombie will probably be, in real life, be pretty easy to kill. But, will, it probably will take a while. But, you can just outrun him and hit him from time to time. While like a horde of zombies? That's a whole other manner. They will encircle you, grab you, and if one of them even gets in hold of you, you will not be able to just run away and start hitting him again. You will probably... well... They will gang up on you and murder your ass. Do we have anything? The entrenchment tool should allow us to butcher. Uh, no, don't stop. Um, I butchered these basically for survival experience and I disassemble all their clothes. First of all because they're filthy and disgusting, second of all for the materials and third of all because we will raise our stats and our, well, our skills and thereby our stats by disassembling them. Uh, I have to actually think about what skill that is for disassembling. Fabrication, exactly. And fabrication will a, a Muller backpack. Yes, I will, I will take that. <laughs> and a light machine gun as well. Yes, yes I can go for that. Um, fabrication will allow us to create better gear basically. Yes, we can tank on the Molly backpack. And read the description, the fluff for the gun. Utilizing a powerful and unusual, unusual caliber, 
The WiveTech RM614 light machine gun was designed for durability and extreme volume oh, and extreme volume for the extra noise. Uh, extreme volume of sustained fire under the worst possible circumstances. Except AMXB 500 box and AMD 250 drum magazines. So nothing that will be available to us. We can probably find find some of them in in pawn shops or however you pronounce that. Like they will probably buy something. Some of these from private persons. Do I want this? It weighs quite a lot and takes off up 11 space. And I don't really want to use a gun, so no, we will leave this behind. Um, can we wear anything else? No. Are there any more corpses? We looked at those. Look at those further to the right. No, no, okay. Um, well, and actually, with that, I should probably end the episode so I can start editing it and record another. So, until next time, have a nice day.